It's me, Betty Jean Baker, and this is the Betty Jean Baker Show. Oh, hello, y'all. Oh, hey, y'all. Oh, here we are. Oh, here we are. With our Dragzilla leveled up. Here we are with our leveled up Meatloaf Wellington. The first step in our beef Wellington. Uh-oh, I ain't making a beef Wellington. Y'all. Did you know you can make a damn meatloaf Wellington? No, I didn't either. I was like, what can I do to make meatloaf fancy? Cause you know, meatloaf is everywhere from a, a trailer park dish to some middle class bullshit in Connecticut. Y'all, and I wanted to make something special out of this meatloaf and I was trying to come up with something fancy. So I was walking through Big Lots in the gourmet section and I, I suddenly had an idea. I was like, what about a damn meatloaf Wellington? Y'all ever had a beef Wellington where it's all wrapped in beautiful puff pastry and it's got mushrooms and mustard? And I said, I'm gonna do something like that, I'm gonna do something like that. And I was so excited. I thought I was a damn genius. I thought I was an artist. I looked online and somebody else already invented this shit. As soon as you have a good idea, somebody else gonna piss all over it. Aww. Here's my version of a meatloaf Wellington. We're gonna start out adding our butter to a pan and I used four tablespoons of butter. One clove of garlic chopped. I've been to Georgia. To California, sip champagne on a yacht. One whole cup of chopped button mushrooms. Yo, you know how I was talking about meatloaf? The singer, I thought I should come up with my own band and call myself Mashed Potatoes. And then I could go on tour with them and it could be meatloaf and mashed potatoes and corn and limp biscuit and black eyed peas and the red hot chili peppers, the cranberries, uh, cake and iced tea. Damn, that sounds like a Thanksgiving dinner on tour, don't it? <laughs> Y'all, and don't forget to season that shit with salt and pepper. Mmm, push it. Push it real good. Mmm, push it. Push it real good. Okay. Y'all, this is what Julia Child would have put on her beef wellington, and it's just some mushrooms, butter, and garlic. And you know what it's called? It's the fancy French word D U X E L L E S, and that spells duck sale. In France, we pronounce it as Duxel. In what language is that, where it spells Duxel? In French. That spells Duxel. Duxel. That spells Duxel. 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 It's French, but a beef Wellington is named after somebody named Mr. Wellington in England, I think. When the lie detector test determined, that was a lie. I'll be for real. I will okay. be. Be for real. Y'all, this is about done, and then we're going to sit it off to cool, and I'm going to show you the next step. Y'all know drag queens now snapping their fan, popping that fan for attitude, but you know where that came from? That came from the 18th century. Did anybody know that? No, I did, because I'm a historian. Did you know that there was a whole language to the fan that this could have meant come closer, come hither, probably. <laughs> and this could have meant stay away, or this could have meant Conversation is over, bitch. That's probably what it meant. I, I remember my Mima sitting on the porch shelling beans, but she always had a fan, like a church fan or something. Yes, everything's as if we never said good about Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. But you know, it, it's an unsavory memory because most of the time she was sitting on the porch with her legs spread out, fanning her cooch up under that day dress. <laughs> and conversation over. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna spread this cheese on a top, on a top. We're gonna spread one cup of cheddar cheese on top of our meatloaf. Now you notice I ain't made another meatloaf, just the same meatloaf we made before. I'm gonna sprinkle this cheese all over this meatloaf and sing meatloaf. I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. Y'all know that meatloaf played Eddie in the original Rocky Horror movie? Did you know that the singer on the song Paradise by the Dashboard Light? was a woman named Carla DeVito, and she was married to Robbie Benson. And did you know Robbie Benson was the voice of the Beast in Beauty and the Beast? And I always fantasize about being Mrs. Pot. We got our cheese on here, now we're gonna add our duck sail all over it. We're gonna spread it out, and we'll time lapse that. What happens here is that we have in French the very specific 
ooh sound for the letter U. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some beautiful puff pastry on the top, and that's gonna seal all of this goodness in there and make a delicious flaky crust. We're just gonna stretch it out, and then we're gonna tuck it under like you're putting it back to bed. Nighty night meatloaf. So to make it especially pretty, we're gonna add some decorations on the top. And I just cut out these leaves, and you just gotta make a shape that looks like that, something like that. It ain't nothing. It ain't a real leaf, y'all. You ain't putting a real leaf on there. You could trace a leaf. You could go out in the yard and pull off something and then come in and trace it, but then you wanna wash that. Wash the leaf first, probably. And you could trace it and make one of these little leaves. It's like cutting out Play Doh. I used, to, I used to eat that damn Play Doh all the time. And somebody said, you know what? That Play Doh's gonna start coming out. It ain't gonna be no fun factory neither. Anyway, this is puff pastry. And I just bought it at the store, but you can make your own puff pastry. It's not very easy. All the leaves are dry. The last step before you put it in the oven is we're gonna rub it all over with the egg wash and it's gonna get golden brown delicious. I am healthy, I am wealthy, I am rich, I am that bitch. I am gonna go get that bag and I am not gonna take your shit. I am rich. Clean up, everybody clean up, clean up. All right, let's take a peek. Jesus! Here we are with our meatloaf beef wellington. Oh, look at that! God Almighty! Look at that! That looks beautiful. That looks like something you get in New York City in the Times Square Applebee's. Friends, make this meatloaf wellington for somebody you love, and I hope whoever you love is better than Meatloaf the singer because, y'all. That was a tough thing to look at. Meatloaf, for all the shit I've said about you, Meatloaf the singer, not the food. If you if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. So leave me a comment and tell me what kind of Meatloaf Meatloaf likes. Wouldn't that be something to know? Does Meatloaf like Meatloaf? Please, y'all, if you know Meatloaf, ask him to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell down there for my, my notification. And click the, y'all, I drank all that wine. I drank all that wine, I'm hot. And this fan ain't doing shit. And it's a left hand fan. I'm a right, I got a right hand. I'm in it's in my right hand. Y'all, y'all remember to like, subscribe, and y'all remember to like, subscribe, and click that bell down there for notifications. But most importantly, stay delicious, y'all. Excellent.